to go. She's scared. Okay. Now, come here. Now, listen. Today is really important, yes? Yeah. And I need you to be as grown up as you can be, okay? For me, yes? And really, there's nothing to be scared of. Because Rena and Nisha, they're going to make Mummy look just beautiful, like she always was. Then we put petals on her. Yes, sweetheart, we do. And we get to say goodbye. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, I completely understand. Uh, yeah, Excuse honestly. No. Who's you on the phone to? Station manager. Yeah. Well, he's not in trouble because you went round yesterday, is he? No, his manager was very sympathetic, actually, which makes me feel even worse. Look, ma'am, no. if you're so bothered no. about him going back to work, no. then maybe you should speak to someone. Yeah. Counselor? Uh, have we met? Yeah. So you're okay with him going back? Yeah. No, I'm going to have to be. Because if I keep acting like a paranoid nutter, I'm going to lose him. Cheers. Bye. How was he? Yeah, he wants to come round later, see if I'm fit for work after yesterday. Right, I best get off. See you later. Yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. I'd like you to be here, so we can talk through things together. Oh, of course. At least I can do after the way I behaved. <laughs> Listen, I know we've talked a lot about this, but I need to know that you're on board, OK? I don't want you worrying yourself sick all the time. Maybe not. But I can't go telling you where and when you can work. I know how much your career means to you. You made your cough. Mm -hmm. You know me so well, don't you? Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about last night. I think I had one too many punches, didn't I? Well, that's understandable. I mean, you were at me dad and Deirdre's after all. Party House Central there, isn't it? Mm. They're like uh, Charlie Sheen and Courtney love them too. You know, I think if I have to spend a night with Tracy, alcohol's definitely a requirement. Yeah, OK, but unfortunately, I don't get that luxury with Rob, do I? Do me a favour and give him a break. He's all the family I've got left, so... Shh, listen. It's that violins I can hear. <laughs> well, compared to Tracy, he's a flipping puppy. Yeah, well, let's hope he's house trained then. <laughs> I'm so glad you're enjoying this holiday club, you know. Yeah, it's good. Um, Mum? Yeah? You know, my dad's moving over the road. What about it? Well... I was thinking about getting him um, a flat one present. If I could just borrow some oh, money. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You know how tight money is at the moment. But, no. And anyway, I'm sure your dad doesn't want us to be spending money on him that we can't afford. Oh, no. I've said no, so that's it now. Just leave it. I don't think you're the paper, Carl. I'm mean, afraid you might bite me head off. Well, I'm sorry about that, Glow. It's just, you know, with everything that's been going on. Apology accepted. Well, hallelujah. Dad's got to go to the funeral place today with the kids. Can you imagine how hard it is for him? Oh, yeah. I mean, no matter what I felt about her, my heart goes out to little Asda and Aldi. Asher and Aldi. Oh, right. I thought it was odd, them having the corner shop and naming the kids after the competition. So you're not coming to the funeral, then? <laughs> Am I heck? Eva, have you booked the horses? What horses? The wild ones you'd have to hire to get me to go to that cow's funeral. Oh. Right, I'm off to work. Well, Dev only wants a small funeral, so it's probably best you both stay away. It suits me. Yeah, and me. Mm. See you later. Well, I'll be there. And I think you should be, Carl. Whatever you thought of her. No, I wouldn't feel right. Oh. No. I'm sorry. Besides, I'm the last person that Dev would want to be there. Ready for another day at the coal fest? This is Connor. How are you, Fizz? Um, I, I was hoping we could have that word about me starting back. Oh, well, consider it. I'd welcome back you. What, now? Well, yeah, you don't need a guided tour of ways, do you? Uh, no. Great. You just couldn't keep away? Yeah, well, knicker stitching is my passion. Do you know what, Fizz? It's not been the same without you. Yeah. I'm well sorry we believe that psycho over you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fizz. I feel awful. If there's anything that I can do to make it up to you. You can buy her a nice finger at break time. Right, now that's over with. Come on, let's get cracking. 
please have some. You barely touched your breakfast. Not me. No, me. We do have a pizza in the freezer. Mother thought we should try it with a view to adding it to the menu, but between you and me, I I'm not a great fan of pizza. Give me a pizza. Please, Dad. Just go and find a nice table, go on. Are you holding up, Dad? Yeah, I'm OK. OK. You know, I was, like, just dreading seeing her today. But she looked, uh, she looked beautiful. I'm so sorry. As I understand your religion, the body is, is a mere shell. And after the cremation, her elements will be returned to their rightful place in the cosmos, while her soul will be returned to the worlds beyond. There's great comfort in that. Is there a subject on the planet that you are not an expert on, Mr. Cropper? There is isn't. I've checked. Hiya, Dev. Hey. How'd you go this morning? Yeah. I shall attend to these customers. Madam, sir, uh, your drink orders. Is the orange, please? The orange? Lemonade for me, please. And lemonade. Come on. Are you OK? Yeah. You're doing all right. Am I? Look, why don't I look after the kids this afternoon? I'm already minding Simon. You know, Stella, that would be a great help. Thank you. And I think they've had enough to cope with after seeing their mother today. By the way, Hayley and I have discussed Friday. We, we will be closing the cafe. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's uh, very, very kind, Roy. But, yeah, there's no need for you to come. OK, no offence, but, uh, really, it's, uh, it's just going to be a very small thing. Like, no fuss. And uh, please, please, that's the way I'd like it. If you're sure. Yeah. I'll be there. You know that. Stella, after everything has happened, I it's don't It's for expect... you. It's for the kids. Carl thinks you don't want him there, but, well, I, I don't know. I, I think maybe it's a chance to heal old riffs. OK. OK, if he wants to come, that's fine. So I'm asking you straight, Paul, be fit to come back. Better ask the missus. Well, I am prone to bouts of hysteria. Oh, you get on well with my wife. But you've had a chance to talk things through, yeah? Yeah. I had a little bit of a wobble, but I'm back on track. One day at a time. Or is that just for alcoholics? <laughs> anyway, I think having a fella hanging around the house is a little overrated in my eyes. <clears throat> Sounds like you got things sorted. We have. Yeah. Good. Well, let's get going. So, if you're both happy, I'll row to you for Friday, yeah? Fantastic. <laughs> Cheers, boss. See you, Eileen. And thank you. I promise everything will be fine. Can I have that in writing? It's my goal! Oh, it isn't. We said we've got three lives. Oh. You all right, kids? Hiya. Are you going to play or what? Carl, you are a lifesaver. I've got nothing in. Yeah? What's going on? Well, Dad had lots to do before the funeral on Friday, so I said I'd mind the kids for it. Oh, God, I've got to go. Hey? Oh, Owen wants to see me. Probably the fittings or something. You're OK minding the kids, aren't you? Uh, Carl, are you, are you staying in today? Oh, no, I'm dead. That's so unfair. Not anymore, I'm not. I won't be long. Oh, by the way, Dev said he's fine with you coming to the funeral. Yeah, well, I'm not, so just leave it, yeah? Well, we'll talk about it later, yeah. I'll be as quick as I can. Well, can you blame him after everything that's happened? Uh, Gloria, please, help me out. Don't look at me. You're the one who spent all that time with them. Bye, kids. Have fun with your Uncle Carl. Bye. Hello. That was playgroup. It's not playgroup. That's for little kids. Sorry. I'm not used to this. <laughs> right, come on then. Let's get you out of them muddy clothes. Um, I wanted to give you this as a moving in present. Where have you got the money to buy them from? Fair. You shouldn't have. Um, I used my dinner money. What? You've not eaten since this morning? Well, I had a big breakfast. Faye, it's really nice of you, but you're not going to spend any money like this, OK? Especially if it means you're going hungry. OK. Right, come on, you. Let's get you home. Bye, Dad. See you, sweetheart. <laughs> so, do you want to play Pirates or something? No. Well, what do you want to do if you don't want to play? I want to go home. You kids all right over there? I know about your mum. 
Simon. I'm being nice. My mum died as well. Leanne's not my real mum. My real mum's in heaven. Uh, how about I make you guys some chips, yeah? Do you think your mum will go to heaven too? Only she burnt down my grand's pub, so... Simon. My mum is in heaven, you shut up! Right, you two, pack it in. Asher? Asha! Asha! Sweetheart. I know how you feel. <laughs> Me and your mum were really good pals. And I miss her. And I know you do too. But I'm a big ugly bloke, aren't I? So I'm not allowed to cry. You know, there's so many things I'd like to tell her. <laughs> to explain, you know, but... We can't change what's happened, can we? Much as though we'd like to. Oh, God, what a mess. Love my mummy. I know you do, sweetheart. The fire wasn't her fault, was it? No. No, no, I promise you. Your mummy had nothing to do with it. She was a really, really good person. You remember that? Hey. Let's go inside and find a nice film to watch, shall we? Fizz was very quiet this morning. Well, who can blame her? We've treated her like a pariah. Fish? That one that eats cows? That's a piranha. Oh. <laughs> And not all of us did. I've got your cake. Just as a little welcome back. Great, thanks. I'll have it with my coffee later. Oh, you like me. I drink tea all morning and then three o'clock I switch to coffee. I don't know why. Powerful stuff. So is Kirsty in a loony bin now, then? Either. It's what we were all thinking. No, we weren't. Look, all of you, I'm fine, Tyrone's fine. We just want to put what's happened behind us. And I want you lot to treat me like normal, OK? You hate me, don't you? No. No, I don't hate you. Look, the top and bottom of it was, Kirsty was such a cunning cow, she had most people fooled. Me more than most. It was like she zeroed in on me. Why did she do that? Because you're daft. I am daft. I have to be. Look, to... Julie, look, it's in the past. So are we okay? We're okay. <sighs> so did you uh, get into trouble with Hubby last night for daring to have a drink? No. Must have been terrible watching everyone else have a laugh. And there's him, face like a yard of gravy. Oh, just grow up, will you? Look, he's my fella, you're my brother. At least do me a favour and try and get on with him. Mom, yes, Mom. Oi. I'll do my best. You actually went down to the fire station like his mum and said, I'm sorry, Paul can't put out any fires today because he's poor now. He wasn't working. I was just worried about him going back. Yes, I think. Uh, tea and Eccles cake, please, Roy. Tea, Eccles cake, yes. Uh, same for me, please, Roy. On the way. Sorry, Paul, say. Well, it wasn't best, please. I can imagine. But his manager came round for dinner today and I did my best little wifey act. Said I'd had a little bit of a wobble, but I was now fine. And are you? I'm gonna have to be, aren't I? Ah, bon appetit. Drinks are on the way. I don't believe in heaven anyway. Cos, like, how can everyone who's died in the whole history be all in one place? Heaven's massive. And how would you be able to find people you know? Do you get like a sat now? Stop talking about it. What is wrong with you, you little brat? Why can't you keep a nasty little gov short? Oi! Don't speak to my son like that. Oh, he, he was upsetting Asher. 
I never did anything. Carl? Yeah, it's all right, Si. Simon was saying nasty things about Sunita, so... I never! Hey, 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 what's going on? Uh, Dev, I, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happened. OK, come on, you guys. Let's get you home. And, uh, thank you for looking after him. Simon, what have you been saying? Eh, yeah. uh, never mind him. What about Carl? Those kids have just lost their mum. <laughs> come on, Si. I thought you were working tonight. Well, I'm not leaving him here with him. Oh, Leanne, come I'll on. I'll see if he's grandma did. You can give him his tea. I'll see you. I'm sorry, it was just seeing Asher so upset. Oh, forget it. This whole thing's just a nightmare. So, what's the emergency? Sit. Does he give his poor as well? What's up, love? Everything all right? Huh? Well, no, no, it's not. See, Peter, this is Rob. Rob. This is Peter. And this is what they call in LA a do over. Eh? Hey? You're the two most important blokes in my life, right? Right now. And you, you seem to act like you hate each other. Oh, I don't know, love. I hate, uh, it's a strong word. Well, we'll hate or dislike or rub each other up the wrong way, whichever it is, it's wearing me out. It's just a bit of banter, eh, Peter? Well, yeah, but banter does imply wit or humour. I'm not sure what you do qualifies. You see, can you just cut that out? Yeah, if it's bothering you, then maybe we'll try a bit harder. <laughs> Agreed? You know, I, I know that both of you like to think of yourselves as a pair of proud stags, butting antlers over your territory or something, but I am not David Attenborough, so I'm not interested. But, OK, it's not fair enough. Don't you think you're being a bit of a drama queen? No, no, she's not. She's right. Just, uh, she doesn't need all this. Okay. Pleased to meet you. <clears throat> Fine. Drinking, Fireman Paul. What, you back at work tomorrow? It's a shandy. Go on. Yes, please. Put out the lemonade. <laughs> Pint, please, mate. So, Eileen says it's all systems go. Yeah, yeah, she's been great, actually. She was a bit nervous at first, but... Yeah, can't really blame her. No, I know. Me and Eileen have been friends a long time. Yeah, I know. She's like the big sister I never wanted. <laughs> Usually with blokes, it's either her way or the highway, but with you, it's different. How do you mean? I don't know. The old Eileen would shout the odds and say, pack your bags if she thought you were eating your chips the wrong way. I'm glad I know the new Eileen. You're the reason she's the new Eileen. She loves you. And although she's very nervous about you going back to work, she's trying her best to bite her tongue. And that woman never bites her tongue, trust me. <clears throat> Hiya. Hiya. Came round to give you these back. Well, I don't want them. Well, I couldn't eat them, not knowing that Faye went hungry to buy them. I thought you took a chair of me. Well, wouldn't tell Faye? Well, that's up to you. You're more used to this parenting stuff than I am. Thanks. Oh. Oh, um, Addy left this. Oh, right. Thank you. Please, uh, sorry, the place is a, is a mess. Are the kids OK? Yeah, they're upstairs. Dev, I'm really sorry. What for? Oh, she told me that, about the talk that you had with her. Yeah, she was really upset, but Carl, he said some really lovely things. Lovely things about what a good person Sunita was. Yeah, well, it's only what anyone would have said. No, 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 but she expects that sort of stuff from me. I'm her dad, but coming from somebody else, it really helped, thank you. We should get out of your hair. You know, um, seeing Sunita today has just brought everything back. It doesn't make, make any sense, does it, her doing something like that? It doesn't, does it? No. Listen, don't torture yourself, mate. Your head must be all over the place. Yeah, well, I know what it looks like. Of course I do, but... Uh... Dev, let's not talk about this now. The most important thing is to get you and those kids through the funeral. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Thank you. Blimey, what are you after? I've already got what I'm after. Is this because I behave myself with your boss? No. No. It's because I know how much you've struggled with me going back to work. I know. I'm irrational. But I do want you to know how much I appreciate the effort you've made to compromise, to support me. I'll be fine. 
I'm dealing with it. Honestly, I am. Okay. Thank you. Fancy a cuddle upstairs. Tea's ready. Little wipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we making a night of it? No, nah, it's Paul's first day back at work tomorrow, so I thought I'd give him and my mum the place themselves. Aw, that's sweet. Do you want a pint? Yeah, go on then. In fact, Leanne, I'll, uh, I'll leave it. Jason. Oh, let him sulk. So, how'd it go at Dev's? Well, it'd be better if people weren't saying awful things about his late wife. What? That she was a nutcase who went a bit bunny boiler with a box of matches? Exactly. Carl was brilliant with those kids today, and every time they hear stuff like that, it just undoes all the good things he's done. But Carl was good with the kids. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Well, you sound so surprised. Are we having a drink or what? Can we get a bottle of white wine and a pint, please, Liam? Come on, Graham, go back to the table. I shouldn't have shouted at Simon, I'm sorry. I'll bring your drinks over. Thanks, Liam. You know what? I've seen a different side to you today. How do you mean? Well, the way you were with Asher and with Deb. I mean, you always play the tough guy, don't you? But underneath it all, you... I want you to come to the funeral with me. Oh, no, I've Death already said... I want you to go, and so do I. It would mean a lot to me, Carl. Yeah, but, Stella, No I... buts. You're coming. Feeling guilty, Carl? The semi-finalists will have to rustle up a mere 150 portions for the Women's Institute next in Food Glorious Food. And with her ex-boyfriend dead, can Rachel clear her name? Scott and Bailey is in an hour.